Hi, today we are going to be demoing Starship, which is a multi-carrier um, shipping application that supports small package and LTL carriers. And we're going to be showing integration to Acumatica. So with our Acumatica interface, you can connect to sales orders, shipments, or customers. We're going to be connecting to sales orders today. And when you ship against a sales order with Acumatica, Starship will actually generate the shipment as a result, which will eliminate one of the manual steps that you typically have to go through. So once we bring in the order, we're going to um, translate fields and populate them on the ship screen. You'll see a highlight of the header level detail. So the carrier and service has been translated from the ship via billing type sender and then the recipient is coming from the ship to on this order. This um, address has been validated so Starship does have zip plus four as well as commercial residential um, validation from the address perspective. In addition to the header level detail, um, we're also bringing in line items and these line items are typically used to automate LTL or international shipments. I can also rate shop this shipment if I wanted to, um, and Starship will go out to all the available carriers that are loaded in the system and bring back one user interface that can show least expensive to most expensive way to ship the package. You can also use ship via rules to automate the carrier service selection based on your parameters, such as cheapest or fastest. Today I'm going to keep my um, translation that came from the order is going to process the shipment. Starship will generate the barcoded shipping labels and it will update Acumatica in real time. In addition to those two things, Starship also supports email notifications where you can define your own templates that are branded. Uh, so Starship will generate um, the barcoded shipping label. This is what we call our smart label. It's an integrated um, packing list plus shipping label on 8.5 by 11. Starship also supports printing the, um, both of these labels, the packing list and the shipping label to a thermal label printer. So after that's been processed, you're really ready to process your next order. I'm just going to go into um, my Acumatica system here and I'm going to bring up the last shipment, which should have been the shipment that was created by Starship. So let's go in here. So you'll see this is the 3867 order number that we processed earlier. Um, a few of the places that Starship will update automatically, well, one, it's actually creating the shipment. So um, you shipped against the order and the shipment's being created. Um, on the shipping settings tab, um, Starship will update the ship via here. And it'll also update the freight amount. The freight amount can include a customizable handling fee, which can have your own parameters wrapped around it. These parameters can include Acumatica fields, maybe like customer type or even as detailed as uh, customer name so that you uh, don't have to update the notes. And this is all user definable here as far as what you want to see. And then of course the packages. So for each box that's packaged in Starship and shipped out, you'll get the um, packages showing here and then the tracking numbers. So that's what we have for Starship for Acumatica Day. If you have questions, feel free to visit us on the web, www.vtechnologies.com, or um, give us a call, 800-462-4016. Thanks.